here! Down here! Down here! Stop stopping! No. It's okay. I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people! We're lucky that Chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. Ooh, but now we're gonna get knocked down. Look! Gotta get out of here. God, they're trying to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. Uh, okay. How do we get down? We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the paddock. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. Oh, that call. That call is crazy. Okay, so I'm guessing we gotta unlock this first and that should drop. That should free it up. All right, and then let's kick that down. Push, Jair Bear, push! Won't budge. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Okay. Uh, How are you holding up, honey? I want to go home. Don't we I all? know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. All right, let's sweetheart, step on listen, that ladder. I want you to be ready drop to climb it down. down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. It's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're going to need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well, then we're going to have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Hmm. All right, Jerry, what do we got? Um, let's go to the tippy top, see if there's anything up there. Ooh, there's an antenna, but that is got some electricity sparking off it. So probably not the smartest thing um, to do. How you holding up, honey? Oh, we're gonna go say home. that again. Yep, I, I know. know so Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. All right, let's go back down. There's gotta be like a, a way to turn the electricity off or something on the tower. We don't wanna. We don't wanna get shocked. Maybe Dr. Let's see if Dr. Sorkin would know. Um, maybe not. Maybe I have to grab it by itself. All right, let's head back up there and we're gonna grab that. It's sparking though. We might get shocked, Jerry. All right. Um, is there nothing else we can do? All right, let's let's this grab it. This could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Okay, so, okay, we have to do this. Uh, turn off power. There we go. Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power to those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. All right, and then let's switch back up to Jerry. Um, and grab that. Okay, we Got didn't it. get shocked. Look at us. All right, let's see if we can pry that now. Hey, and we got an achievement. All right, let's pry that open. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never going to be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Certainly. 
Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! Nothing. All right, come on. We got this. Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Dad, what are we going to do? Try again. On three. Ready? One, two, three. No, Jess, wait. No. All right. Oh, Jess, no. Go. Run to the tunnels. Run to the I'm tunnels. Go. Dad. Tunnels, go. Jess, what are you doing? Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right. I'm coming down. Quickly, quickly. Put a little pep in your step. The raptors know what's going on. Tunnels. Sorkin, you have to hurry. Out of the way. I'm going to jump for it. Ooh, good jump, Spidey. Okay, now All up right. and over. I'm okay. Yep, tunnels now, kids. Come on, let's go. Run, run, run. Because the run, raptors are already Sorkin. over the fence. Froze of fear. Come on, they're right behind you. Come on, lady. There we go. All right, let's get in and I guess close the door. Dr. Harding, the door. Close, 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 got that, nice. Woo! That was a little too tight for comfort. Jump, Philly! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. <laughs> no way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's go, what's so, the plan? So, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it! I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. Hmm. No, it still can go off. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. All right, Billy, what do we got here? Take a peek over there. Damn, all our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK too. Better keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. Batteries, I think, would be the next thing that might go. Gonna take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. There, I guess. What's that, the fuselage? <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. We hope. I mean, that's going to draw every dino from here to Timbuktu with that big of a noise. All right, let's go back and check out Nima here. I should see if the girl's okay. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. All right, what are we looking for, Billy? Are we going to hit her with a rock? Oh, her backpack. Oh, we're gonna find the shaving cream. Wow, Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. <laughs> Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. <laughs> a lady has a secret stash, but what the hell is it? It would be the embryos of that big footstep. It's leaving. Hmm. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. <laughs> the chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. 
No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. Well, Oscar might recognize so, that. Now what's the plan? Uh that shaving cream can looks like some real CIA stuff. What do you think she's up to? Ask her when I ain't around. If she won't tell you, I'll make her talk my way. Are we gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. <laughs> Alright, so they're already off the tower. Right? Yeah, I don't hear any screaming. Oh, man, why are the raptors still around if they got beat? Are they just looking at the door? Yeah. I'm trying to open the door. Dios mío. They open doors. Uh oh. They got a scent of us? Should have stayed in bed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What's he gonna do with the stick? I'll step over the stick. Okay. They're having themselves a nice little snackarooski. Well, we know closing the gate won't do much. Let's go. Let's go underneath. Damn it! Moving a lot quicker. Okay, open doors. Okay, so the third one's in, so there's three in the tunnel, one in the pen having a snack. And I don't remember how many there are. We're going to stand here all day. Yes, yes, we are. Alright, let's uh I guess we can knock on the door. Or do we follow the raptors? No, let's let's try opening the door here. Locked. Smart. But they didn't lock the man door. Let's look all the way around just to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay. Back through the door here. Knives out. Oscar's ready to do some combat. Compy's trying to take a little snack out of Nima too. Man, everyone's trying to get a little snack. Oh my not bad. Magic. They left me alone. Idiotas. No, Billy's gotta be around here somewhere. Where is he at? Uh, okay, helicopter crash, and that's about oh, we'll check her bag first. Where's the cane? Nieta, no, no, no! Looking for this? Hmm. <laughs> Way up top That's so she mine. can't get to him. You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? <laughs> Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask InGen? Uh, stuff it full embryos, be careful. I guess just tell them the truth, Nemo. Embryos! Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. 
I knew you were up to something, but this, this is pretty clever, I gotta admit. Engine's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. <laughs> Look, Yoder. Philly, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. Uh, I bet he's greedy. Uh, we're gonna go with money. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. Valuable. Um, go valuable. Those embryos are worth over a million. That's U.S. dollars. I have a buyer. I just need you to take us there, and we'll both be rich. Oh, yeah, right. Like, InGen isn't gonna shine a light on an independent contractor like me when they figure out the crown jewels are missing. No sale. Mm, let's go up under How paid. much does InGen pay you to risk your life? How long before they replace you after you lose a leg or break your back and can no longer jump out of helicopters for hey, them? Don't you worry about it. I get paid plenty to do what I do. Okay, we'll sell you the story. You turn that over to InGen. You get a pat on the back, maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Okay, keep talking. Uh, chivalry? Please, I don't expect you to trust me, but the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. Just to reveal my daughter, share my people's plight. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, I'm gonna go with Reveal Daughter. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Win, win, okay, win. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos, and as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Hmm. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. <laughs> oh, what a sleaze. What a sleaze. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. Want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. All right, well, I think that's another good place to take a pause here in Jurassic Park the game. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on anything you want to comment about. And as always, if you want to get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. And we'll see you in the next one.